The African savanna has always been a land of fierce predators, where the strong survive and the weak become lunch. But millions of years ago, the competition for survival was even more intense. In this video, we'll take a deep dive into the world of the most powerful predators of this era, including the Simbacuba cutacafrica, the Homotherium, and the African lion. We'll learn about their unique characteristics and strategies for hunting, as well as the challenges they face in their struggle to survive. So, get ready to travel back in time and witness the epic battles of these legendary predators. Atlas Bear The Atlas Bear was a formidable predator, standing over 6 feet tall on its hind legs and weighing up to 880 pounds. It had a large, stocky build and a powerful jaw that was designed to crush bones. Its thick fur coat protected it from the cold temperatures of the Atlas Mountains. The Atlas Bear's diet consisted mainly of plants, including acorns, nuts, berries, and roots. However, it also hunted small animals and scavenged for carrion, especially during the winter when food was scarce. It was known to raid crops and livestock, which put it in conflict with humans. Sadly, the Atlas Bear was hunted to extinction in the late 1800s due to habitat destruction and hunting. Its fur was highly valued, and it was also hunted for sport. By the end of the 19th century, the last remaining Atlas Bear had been killed, and the species was declared extinct. Despite its extinction, the Atlas Bear remains an important symbol of African wildlife and a reminder of the importance of protecting vulnerable species. The story of the Atlas Bear serves as a cautionary tale about the impact of human actions on the natural world and the need for conservation efforts to preserve our planet's biodiversity. Simbacuba cutacafrica Simbacuba cutacafrica, also known as the Big Lion from Africa, this predator was one of the largest carnivores to ever roam the continent, with a weight estimated at around 1,500 pounds. Simba Kuba Kutakafrika lived around 22 million years ago, during the Oligocene epoch, and was found in what is now Kenya. Simba Kuba Kutakafrika was a skilled hunter that preyed on a wide range of animals, including horses, rhinos, and even other carnivores. Its name means Big Lion in Swahili but it was not related to modern lions. Simbacuba cutacafrica had a unique skull structure that gave it an incredibly powerful bite, allowing it to easily crush bones and take down large prey. Simbacuba cutacafrica went extinct around 20 million years ago, possibly due to competition with other carnivores and changes in the environment. Despite its short time on Earth, it remains one of the most impressive and fearsome predators to ever live in Africa. Amphicean. Next up, let's talk about Amphicean, a fearsome predator that lived during the early Miocene epoch in Africa, also known as the bear dog. Amphicean was a carnivore with a bear-like appearance and a powerful bite. It weighed up to 1,000 pounds and had a skull that was designed to crush bone. Amphicean's diet consisted of large mammals such as horses, deer, antelopes, which it hunted with its powerful jaws and sharp teeth. It lived in a variety of habitats, from grasslands to forests, and was able to adapt to changing environments. Despite its fearsome appearance, Amphicean eventually went extinct around 2.5 million years ago. However, its descendants continued to thrive and evolve, eventually giving rise to modern-day bears and dogs. The Amphicean was a truly impressive predator, and its legacy can still be seen in the animal kingdom today. Homotherium Homotherium was a powerful and agile predator that lived during the Pleistocene epoch in Africa. Also known as the scimitar-toothed cat, Homotherium was named for its long, curved canine teeth, which were used to deliver deadly bites to its prey. Homotherium was a large predator, weighing up to 900 pounds and standing over 4 feet tall at the shoulder. It was able to run at high speeds for short distances, allowing it to chase down prey and bring it down with a powerful bite to the throat. Homotherium's diet consisted of large herbivores such as mammoths, bison, and horses, as well as smaller animals like rabbits and rodents. It was a skilled hunter that often worked in packs to take down large prey. Megantarian 
Next on our list is Megantirian, a powerful predator that lived in the late Miocene and Pleistocene epochs in Africa. This predator was part of the same family as the Smilodon, commonly known as the saber-toothed cat. Megantirian was a medium-sized predator, weighing up to 400 pounds and standing just over 3 feet tall at the shoulder. It was well adapted to its environment, with powerful forelimbs and a strong neck that allowed it to take down large prey. Megantirian's diet consisted mainly of large herbivores such as antelopes and gazelles, which they hunted by leaping onto their backs and biting their necks. Its long, curved canines were designed to deliver a deadly bite, piercing the throat of its prey and causing it to bleed out. It is believed that Megantirian went extinct around 10,000 years ago. Giant Hyena The Giant Hyena, also known as the Short-Faced Hyena, this predator lived about 1.5 million years ago and was found in various locations throughout Africa and Eurasia. The giant hyena was the largest hyena that ever lived, weighing up to 500 pounds. The giant hyena was a skilled hunter that preyed on animals such as antelopes, zebras, and even early humans. Its powerful jaws and sharp teeth could crush bones with ease, and it was known to scavenge the kills of other predators. It is believed that the giant hyena went extinct around 10,000 years ago. Agriotherium Moving on to Agriotherium, also known as the sickle-toothed bear. This predator lived about 10 million years ago and was found in various locations throughout Africa, Asia, and North America. Agriotherium was a skilled hunter that preyed on a wide range of animals, including horses, rhinos, and even early elephants. It is believed that Agriotherium went extinct around 2.5 million years ago. Dinophelis Next up is Dinophelis, also known as the Terrible Cat. This predator lived about 5 million years ago and was found in various locations throughout Africa and Eurasia. Dinophelis was a powerful predator that weighed up to 500 pounds and had large, sharp teeth. Dinophilus was a skilled hunter that preyed on animals such as zebras and even early humans. Its hunting style was similar to that of the modern leopard, using stealth and speed to ambush prey. It is believed that Dinophilus went extinct around 2 million years ago. Machiridus Machiridus, also known as the saber-toothed tiger, this predator lived about 2 million years ago and was found in various locations throughout Africa. Eurasia, and North America. Machiridus was known for its long, curved canine teeth, which were up to 7 inches in length. Machiridus was a skilled hunter that preyed on large animals such as horses, bison, and early elephants. Its hunting style was similar to that of the Homotherium and Megantirian, using its powerful forelimbs to immobilize its prey before delivering the killing bite. It is believed that Machiridus went extinct around 10,000 years ago. African Lion Last but not least, we have the African Lion, also known as the King of the Jungle. This predator is the only one on our list that is still alive today, but it also existed during the Pleistocene epoch. The African Lion is the second largest big cat, weighing up to 550 pounds. Its powerful jaws and sharp teeth make it a fearsome predator, and it is known to hunt in packs, taking down large prey together. It is estimated that there are only around 20,000 African lions left in the wild today. The predators we have discussed today were some of the most powerful and fearsome animals to ever walk the earth. From the massive Simbacuba Cudicafrica to the agile and deadly Machiridus, these predators were highly adapted to their environments and were skilled hunters that preyed on a wide range of animals. While most of these predators are now extinct, their legacy lives on in the animals that still roam the African savannas today. The African lion, in particular, remains a symbol of strength and power, and it is a reminder of the incredible diversity and beauty of African wildlife. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Time. Time.